Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. We have such a wonderful turnout. I truly feel that people will have a sense that this is really important for us to show up and do. And as the Ascended Masters always say, always thank you for showing up because we are in a creation that is dual, meaning that we have a choice to do something or not. And so you've chosen today to harness these important, important energies that happen, uh, a cosmic clock, if you will, every quarter, so powerful it actually impacts the seasons on our planet. These celestial bodies actually impact our oceans. So I need not tell you just how powerful these energies are, of which we are a little small part, but yet powerful. And we can be able as divine co-creators holding the similitude of the divine, be able to harness this energy as conscious creators and bring it for good. We are the tribe of light. We are the ones we've been waiting for mm -hmm. and the rest of the world. So here we are and again, my name is Baba Sharon and I'm with the Cosmic Center Spiritual Light. And I want to go a little bit as to this is particularly a very powerful, powerful winter solstice. All solstices and equinoxes are, of course, very powerful, which is why all cultures from all around the world have recognized this. And so there's been some sort of ceremony or ritual in honoring that there is a higher cycle, okay, that impacts us. And all the sages and the prophets and the wisdom keepers and all of them from all traditions have known this always and have passed it on. So we continue with this tradition that's been in effect since the beginning of time. I want to first say that through the office of the Christ, working through Metatron and Melchizedek, the incarnate children of light upon the earth have an opportunity to form communities of the living light and are dedicated to El Elyon, the Most High God. Whether you're consciously aware of it or not, you are here because of a soul pulse that has brought you here to walk on this earth to do what you've come here to do, which is to be a light to the world. So with that, let me just tell you a little bit about this, why today is especially very, very important and pivotal. Well, of course, all these sacred uh, languages, all these sacred numerologies, astrology, all has been leading up to something and it is leading up to our great ascension. And that's all in our own way. We play our own role that only we can do, by the way. That is why the masters say, thank you for showing up because only you could do that particular thing where you are. People say, well, how can I impact the world? You do what you can where you're at, that's it. A smile, somebody is down. Recognize somebody on the street, like I recognize you as a human. That's huge. And as you hold more light, you don't even have to do anything. You walk into a room and you start to change the vibration in the room. Where there's something that's negative and down, light workers walk in and disperse that depression, that sadness, whatever it may be. So we hold and we talked about this yesterday, the light within our own bodies called ATP, it's scientific. And if you look it up, but in the keys of Enoch, they believe that that is high scientifically, Jesus to Christ turned into a body of light. So we hold the same codes within our own DNA. That just tells you a little bit. Now we're starting to wake up as to, hey, who are we? We're the family of light and oh, the master Jesus said, as I can do, you can do too. I'm sure he wasn't lying. I'm sure he was telling the truth. So we're just trying to figure it out. So the dates of 11, 11, 21, 11, 12, 21, which we just came from, now brings us to 12, 21, 21. It happens to be a trinity of energies coalescing to bring us to this moment now, extremely pivotal because we're at a higher octave, if you will, where the stakes keep on getting 
higher and higher, because just as we are putting effort in, there is also what I call the service to self. And they don't want to let go all that easily. They've been in charge for a long time. They have been manipulating things for a long time. And you could go into the, you know, into the Gnostic Gospels and in other ancient literature, they speak of these things. And so the whole idea is that we are now back into the ascension process from having fallen, okay, now heading back home, now heading back into the higher, greater parts of ourselves and bringing everybody along with us. And so that's why we meet together as the tribe of light, because the service to self group, they're meeting too right now, trying to harness these energies for their self purpose, not God's will, the little wills. We are here to bring forth God's will, which is what is known the divine plan. That's why we show up, whether we understand it or not. So 122121 is now at a new level where things can happen. There can be the drums of war, which they're working overtime. You know, I know a lot of us, we just glimpse a little bit of the news. I didn't have to look at the news already, no. Okay, and they're there really trying to get things revved up. As quiet as it is, it's really taking place and wanting something to happen that will spark it. But here we are, we're like the cosmic, um, Mika Ailey Lou and I have uh, Michael the Archangel here. Okay, it's a specialty because I will tell you in the higher realms, he's a real, he's a real sentient being. I mean, this is a consciousness. You know, people, we are at the point here at the Cosmic Center and people who are like us all around the world, we're not wondering if this is real. We know it's real and we are engaged, actively engaged with the higher realms of light. Okay, we may get glimpses of inspiration or in our dreams, there's something going on within you that lets you know that there's more to the story. So why has uh, Michael have just been throughout the ages of time? His name comes up because he's real. And so are all the other angelic forces of the devil realms. There's so much life teeming out there. And of course, we have all come to know that we're not the only ones in this creation. I hope everybody knows that we're not the only ones. Thank <laughs> God. So with that now, we're going to embrace the energies that are here now. And as co-creators, we're going to move the energy through the names of God, through prayers, through meditation, through the opening of the higher heart of compassion, okay, holding the ainsaw for the limitless light. And we're going to move through our consciousness, the higher world vision of this world. We're going to see a world of peace, a world of perfect balance, a world of vast diversity, but with the symbiotic relationship where one thing impacts the other and it's all one. That's the thought form that we're going to be putting out into the cosmos and other realms of light. When they see us here all together, what they're going to see is a sun that is so bright because we are combining our lights together. So every word that you say, every heartfelt message you want to give out to the universe is powerful. And we have dismantled thought forms before. There's histories of it doing in England where Germany did invade England because a group of white workers got together and said, no, that's what we do. And that's what we do here today, right now, okay? So first I'm gonna start and let me just mention one thing. There are five, for those that are new, there are five sacred languages on this planet. Uh, we mostly use Hebrew only because for the Western mind, it's a little bit easier, but the other sacred languages are also Sanskrit, Tibetan, Chinese, and Egyptian. Those are the five, meaning these languages came from the higher realms to the earth, did not originate here. Okay, we come from the Adamic race. We come from the Adam Kadman. We come from a very high aeon. And we're now coming back into our realization and bringing back our cosmic memory as to who we are and the power we hold. I also want to mention that Dr. Hertak of uh, JJ Hertak of the Keys of Enoch Fame 
will be here at the Cosmic Center in Sarasota, Florida, January 14th and 16th, along with his wife, Desiree Hertak and Alan Steinfeld. This is a pretty big deal. So if you are local, please look at our website. You will get the information to be a part of that. So now I'm going to ask our beautiful Ashley to come forward and she's going to open up sacred space for us and calling in the, um, the four or the corners. Thank you. I'll say everybody thanks for coming tonight. Protect your voice. Okay, yeah, thanks for coming. Sorry, I'm like, first time I'm calling in um, the four corners. So it's a long time for me, but I'm excited to be here. Yes, yes, you know, I have some power. So I especially need this tonight. Um, as we all, like you said, we have to bring in the light and the sun. So hopefully I can represent yeah, that tonight for you guys. Um, but we are going to, if I can ask everyone to stand um, as we are going to call in all the directions. Um, if you know it, you can say it with me, oh, but just say I'll just do it myself. Okay. <laughs> all right. Um, so according to my phone, let's just double check here. The east is right here at like a catty corner. Okay. So yeah, if everyone wants That's to right, You don't have to turn it. If you okay. want to, you can. Okay, perfect. Okay, energies and the spirits of the East. Yod he, vod he, place of the rising sun, birth and rebirth, the winds that bring new beginnings, the mental realm we call upon Archangel Raphael, guardian of the air. We call upon the winged ones, the great eagle and the hawk. We call forth the fairy realms, dragons and dragonflies. Teach us to see through illusion. We call upon Kin Young, Bring us your compassion to guide us and heal us. Spirit keepers, energy of the East, join us, assist us this day, be here now, and so it is. And so it is. Energies of the South. Just point South. Adana, 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 thank you. Place of the noon, day sun, the spiritual realm, the fire within. We call upon the Archangel Michael, guardian of the south. Share with us your courage and protection. We call upon the guardians of fire. We call forth Saint Germain and the violet flame to assist us in change. We call forth the great sacrament. Teach us to shed the past as easily as you shed your skin. Teach us transformation. Spirit keepers, energies of the south. Join us, assist us this day, and be here now. And so it is. And so, so it is. is. Energy, spirit of the West. Place of the setting sun, the place of reflection and introspection. The evening star, place of transformation and change. We call upon Archangel Gabriel, guardian of the West. We call forth Magdalene that we might know alchemy, kindness, and mercy. We call upon the dolphins and the whales and the playfulness of the otters and seals. Spirit keepers, energy of the West, join us, assist us this day, be here now, and so it is. And so it is. I have to use spirits of the North. Agala. The place of wisdom, knowledge, and discernment. The place of the grandmothers, grandfathers, the ancestors, and the ancient ones. The place of abundance, prosperity, grounding, and physical manifestation. We invite the energies of the owl, hummingbird, wolf, horse, buffalo, and bull. We call forth Archangel Uriel, guardian of the north. We call upon the goddesses and her aspects of the warrior, the sage, the mother, the teacher and the healer, Athena for her love, spirit keepers, energy of the North. Join us, assist us this day, be here now, and so it is. And so, so it is. is. All right, everyone above. Energies and spirits of the above elements of the ether. Father, sky, star nations, Alaheim, celestial hosts, archangels, the angelic realms, divine consciousness, sky beings, multidimensional light beings, spirit guides, and our ancestors. 
for the wisdom and watchful guidance over our life path, great spirit. You who are known by a thousand names, spirit keepers, energy of the above, join us, assist us now, be here now. And so it is. And so, and so it, is. it is. Energy of spirits of the below, sacred mother earth, beloved Gaia, the sacred core, the shadow self, the depths of the underworld. We call upon the energies of the elements, the stones and crystals, the plants and trees, and all that walk, crawl, fly, swim, and all that be of and on the earth, spirit keepers, energy of the blow, join us, assist us this day, be here now, and so it is. And so it is. All right, and we're at our sacred center. The place of balance, sacred union, the within and without, oneness, divine feminine, and divine masculine, God, goddesses, Aisa, Orisa, Magdalene and Christ, the yin, the yang, the place of timelessness and transformation, the place of the void from which all things are born and to be whom all things return. Spirit keepers, energy of the sacred center, join us, assist us this day, be here now, and so it is. And so it is. The directions are called and we are, he are now here in a sacred space. Thank you. Please be seated. Yes. Thank you, Ashley. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And now I'm going to ask uh, for the calling in of the masters. Uh, we have four people who are going to do that. Will you come forward? Barney, Sheila, Ruben, Donna. Now calling the angelic beings, the thunder masters, and all beings of light. Sananda. Mother Mary. Mary Magdalene. Saint Germain. Afra. Katuna. Snakanara. Gautama Buddha. Maitreya. Wakul. Confucius. Wanyin. Melchizedek. Elijah. Samantha Spain. Amenbe. Elmoria. Ramu and the Brotherhood of Mount Shasta. Enoch. John the Beloved. Leto. Saint Bernadette. Valerio. Mayor Baba and all ascended masters. Talk. Baba Shi. Metatron. Saint Michael, the Archangel, and all Archangels. Asar Command. The Galactic Federation of Light. All Saints. The Octurians, the Pleiadians, the Syrians. Andromedans and Altarians. All our star family of light. Elohim. All beings of light, I personally acknowledge. Thank you. Okay, and there is a um, a prayer that I'd like for us to do here now. Uh, a prayer, and that is with uh, Mark Eagles. Good to see everybody. Project your voice. So many traditions pray for the coming of the Messiah. It's Mashiach in Hebrew, so we're going to do that. Messiah. Messiah comes not just in one physical form, but through us. It's our presence that will really make it happen. So in Hebrew, 
Baruch atah Adonai Elokeinu melech ha'olam Asher kideshonu b'mitvotso b'tzivonu Ner chadlik ner shel Mishiach Sayah English is Baruch atah Adonai Blessed art thou, O Lord, our God, ruler of the universe, commander of all life. Please now bring us the Messiah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Mark. And now you will see, uh, you should have got the handout that has Gabriel's prayer. Gabriel's divine love and golden light invocation. Let us all say this together. I invite the divine love and golden light active in the Christ consciousness to flow gracefully through me and anchor upon the earth. I now ask for an awakening connection within my DNA to divine love compassion and life from the highest source to the 12 strands of DNA within me, creating the full helix of life that activates my 12 chakra system. I ask for my soul's alignment to all the divine love and life that I can receive for the good of my evolution and the evolution of the earth at this time. I invite the assistance of the angels, archangels, masters, and all the beings of light who work for my awakening to be with me in this process. May all beings awaken to their divine potential and bring the presence of divine love into their hearts. May ever more grace flow through us all to bless this planet. May the earth be honored in a new way that allows our beautiful planet to thrive. May every heart feel the gifts of this loving presence within them, so peace may prevail on earth. Thank you, God, for this and all our blessings, and so it is. And now I'm going to ask Richard uh, to come forward to say a very powerful prayer. It's actually come from the goddess Athena. Almost there, I'm so happy to see so many people. Awesome. I could project your voice. I have to I have to project my very powerful <laughs> black man voice. <laughs> it shouldn't be too hard. Um, so a few years ago, uh, we we're having a service here, and I asked my Dallas I think is my it's been my my guardian guide since the dawn of time, it seems like. Probably, our life streams have always crossed, and she's always been in my life in some way, one form or another. Um, so I asked for her assistance in crafting this uh, a prayer for for that event, um, and it, it's always it's always very powerful. The words are, are extremely powerful, and I, they're not my words, and they're like what her what her what she wants to see from us, her ideal for how we can help advance the cause and bring in more light. And, and it was called the World Peace Prayer at the time but I, I think it's it's shifted it's still a prayer but it's more like what Sharon Elizabeth was saying earlier about bringing in the light bringing the light into us so that we can spread it out into the world um so so this prayer is really about not so much about world world peace but peace within yourself you know using that as the catalyst to go out and make change in the world connecting to Christ consciousness the energy of love and energy of the ascended masters and all and our family light and everything that is, that is divine. Um, and so this is the prayer. If you've never heard it before, I see a lot of new faces. So uh, I, I'm really hoping that you get something really interesting out of this. Um, I'd like to invite everyone before we start to take a nice deep breath at the center of the energy.
We open our hearts to Father, Mother God, because we know that the heart is the temple of divine love. It is the point of contact from which we communicate with God. It is with great love and humility that your children call out to you as we ask you to shine your light into the hearts of everyone here, and even more so into those who are not, so that we may all honor you as one collective heart, blaze as one sacred fire, and pray as one voice united in compassion for our brothers and sisters across the world. Mother, Father, God, we ask for your blessing tonight. We ask you to bless the whole of humanity, that we may be cleansed and purified, that our mistakes and misdeeds may be forgiven, that the crimes and cruelties we have committed against our fellow man, the animals and the very earth itself be washed away and our souls be reborn in the ever-loving presence, peace, and light of God. We ask that harmony and oneness permeate the core of all people, and may the multi-hued rays of the light of Christ consciousness descend like a waterfall, rushing forward into the hearts and minds of all mankind. We ask that this deluge of Christ's light engulf our beautiful Mother Earth in its supreme radiance and spread into every possible direction, filling every crack and crevice of our thirsty, thirsty world. We ask that its current circulate through every life stream until its influence pervades all of existence. May this wave of Christ's love never rest. May it continue to surge until all beings, all beings are free from violence, fear, oppression, tyranny, and every manner of unkindness and misqualified energy. Let not one creature walk the land, swim through the sea, or fly in the air without knowing the love grace, mercy, forgiveness, compassion in the heart of God. May we remember that all of nature is united in the holy domain of the Holy Spirit and that mankind, we are a part of nature and it is our responsibility, ours, to take care of this world and everyone and every creature in it to recognize the supreme divinity in everything, to heal and bless this great world, and to receive all of its abundance, everything that has hope. And so we ask the indwelling Christ consciousness to look over the world and see humanity in all living creatures in brotherliness, hopeful, in harmony, combined together in a holy alliance of mankind and nature and spirit, whose redemptive power shatters despair and engenders an age of peaceful coexistence. Dear God, please allow this new hope to dawn upon us. Let it take its proper place in our hearts and become the wellspring of a progressive movement whose supercharged action in Christ overturns all obstacles, heals all of our wounds, unbinds every sorrow, and removes the heavy burden in the hearts of so, so many. May we all feel the joy awakened by the great symphony of God's love. And may it give rise to the constant aspiration of the qualities of virtue that make mankind great. 
I see a golden light shining. And I know in my heart that love is eternal. We would like to give thanks for the energetic ripples of the rising sun of cosmic Christ consciousness that flows through us all, flows through us now, and will always flow through us. We want to show our gratitude for the dome of the sky, the stars that shine forth in their amazing brilliance, the world that we live upon. We want to show our appreciation with heartfelt joy for the song of birds, green of trees, cry of a newborn child, and the kindness of others. We want to recognize that all things are bathed in the holy radiance of God. We want to show our gratitude right now, today, in this moment, right here, for the future day, when all mankind, all men, women, children, receive and acknowledge the peace and love, strength, courage, and wisdom that will be bestowed upon us through the light of, cosmic, of the cosmic Christ, which is risen and dwells within the hearts of everyone. We want to thank you for sharing in this collective prayer, because we know that our efforts here today, our prayers, our gratitude, our love, and our light, because of this, we are already victorious in life. And we want to pray in the name of the Holy Trinity, extended masters, all things divine, in the name of the I am that I am. I'd like to say amen. 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 Thank you, Richard. Always so powerful. So now this is an appropriate time. That intention has been set. I think it's crystal bubbling clear, what we're in alignment with, and time to move it forward. So this is our time to have our beautiful Libra, because this beautiful harp over here, and you also see that what's written here is Zama, Zama, Ozai, Rakama, Ozai. She'll talk a little bit about what this is. It comes out of the Pista Sophia. These are actually the words of Jesus Christ, the risen Jesus. It's the whole story, but this is the sound. So I'll let you just give a little more about it, Leva, and then we're going to sing these very powerful names together. Hi, everyone. Um, the risen Christ offered this language. It's not exactly Hebrew. It's right. not exactly Arabic. It's right. not exactly a sound. Right. <laughs> so we have the opportunity, though, to embody this together. Okay, so um, I have an original melody that came to me, um, and so I'm really hoping those who want to sing will sing. And and um, so go ahead and repeat: Zama Zama, Zama Zama, Oza, Oza, Rahama, Rahama, Ozai, Ozai. So we've got an Oza and we have an Ozai. Okay, so one more time, Zama Zama, Zama Zama, Oza, Oza, Rahama, Rahama, Ozai, Ozai. So um, I'll teach you this main melody, and then if we get solid with that, I'll bring in a new melody on top of that. Okay. And I just want to mention one thing that um, what people don't realize, which I think is magnificent. You know, we all have a tone when other octaves, how wherever you may be in an astral plane or beyond the astral plane, you may not be looking like this. You might be an orb or a color or a geometry or a tone. Everything has a tone. So our voice, whether it's an internal voice or not, doesn't matter out of the symphony of such gargantuan that we can't even wrap our mind around existence is that we are unique in our tone. So when you use your tone, okay, that ripples throughout the multiverse, identifying you, saying this and other prayers. So I just want to mention, I think that's 
We're part of the great grand cosmic harmonic, but we're all identified individually as well. That's so beautiful. So uh, love as the substance of eternal life, and this being the words of the risen Christ, this is a healing mantra, okay? <laughs> so it's up to each of us to decode this through our own vibration. Humming's good too, you know, whatever you feel. Um, so this is the melody. of the words um, many years ago I actually sang it into my um, recorder and I listen to it every now and again I hear my voice singing it so you could do many things but maybe taking a picture very very powerful powerful voice okay okay come on in welcome this seat right here okay. all right so moving forward now, um, <clears throat> let us all say together the great invocation. You will find that in your handout. The great invocation, why this is so special, it is the great work of Alice Bailey, but the words come from, he's known as a Tibetan, but it's Dual Kul. We mentioned his name in Calling in of the Mansions, and but many people studied under the tutelage. He, Works with Kuthumi and other ascended masters, but the well cool. This was sent forth back, I believe, is in the 1930s or in the early 40s. And again, it was the prayer to create a platform, okay, for the new generation of light workers coming in or coming back again, maybe. That's the better appropriate thing. Many of them have been here for quite a while. Um, and moving the divine plan forward. This is why we are all here now. So I always think of the path, the light workers of the past, the ones that have held the light, even in the darkest of time, somebody had to hold that light where they were in caves or they came out and here we are. And for them, we don't have to be in the caves hiding. At least we are fortunate to be here uh, in a country that we can express our true beliefs. Uh, so the great invocation is very powerful. We do use the original version of it. 
So let us all say it together. From the point of light within the mind of God, let light stream forth into the minds of men. Let light descend on earth. From the point of love within the heart of God, let love stream forth into the hearts of men. May Christ return to earth. From the center where the will of God is known, let purpose guide the little wills of men, the purpose which the masters know and serve. From the center which we call the grace of men, let the plan of love and light work out, and may it seal the door where evil dwells. Let life and love and power restore the plan on earth. And now I'm going to ask our beautiful Reverend Robin to come forward. So I want to thank you for this beautiful honor on this most auspicious day. And as everyone has been talking about, the solstice is a day where have the longest, darkest, deepest night. And we are a reflection of the cosmos, as above, so below. But starting tomorrow, each day, the days grow longer with more light coming in. And so I thought it would be really beautiful for us to remember that we reflect that in our lives, in our nation, and in this world. And as a group with humanity, because then, as a force, we can unify with love. We were asked to dismantle the thought forms of war. How best can we do that? Except as a unified, wonderful family of love and light. Because when we have that power together, there's nothing that can stop us. We can bring the light into our lives, into our countries, into this world. It can be a light of awakening. It can be the light of love, of compassion. And we reflect what is in the heavens because the light comes each and every day a little bit more beautiful, a little bit more long. And may we be blessed by this cosmic radiance of light in the heavens, but to awaken our DNA Remember, we are the Messiah, right? Jesus said, these things that I do, ye can do these in grief. So we are an instrument of God. We are a reflection of the light that lights the heavens. And so during this time, when we have the darkness upon the earth, let us awaken to the light of truth and love and passion for each other. For only when we awaken the love and unified force and reflect the light is within us as it grows in intensity, as the days grow longer in light, we can take that intensity of the light and reflect it to each and every one of us and grow in light, in wisdom, in love and compassion. And we can then dismantle all fear, all thought forms of war, because it's with the opposite, which is love, with this unification. Where there's peace, there's no war. Where there is light, there is no darkness. And remember this, that when we go forth, light can go into darkness and dispel it. Darkness cannot come into light. And so I thought that we're going to ring in with the frequencies, it is our awareness, and I'm just going to call in the light and the love. And I'm going to ring this in as I walk back and forth. And I want is with consciousness. It's we have the divinity within us. We are light. We are consciousness. We are a true replica. We are made in the similitude of God. We are made in the image. We have divine consciousness. So let us all together aw help awaken each other call in each and every day to have the light last longer let us be blessed in the radiance of the divine mother the divine father but most of all through love and unification and we together as humanity 
there is no force that can stop the power of light and love. So I'm just going to be ringing. This is keyed in the frequency of 432, which has got its own beautiful significance. It's very powerful creation of the, the, the Pyramid of Giza is also ringing to that frequency. And so I'm going to, just as the light comes each and every day, there's more light. It's a frequency of lighter light. Each tone, I'm going to call in a certain frequency and I'll move it up and down and we will grow in intensity of the power of love and light and unification with compassion and mercy, forgiveness and deep understanding of each other that we have to awaken the power within us. And we then can sow in and bring in this beautiful light of love. And there is no force that can take that from us. We're going to call it back, just as the powers of love and light come forth. So I'm going to start with the lower frequency. And I'm just going to have us all with divine intention consolidate together in unification. And let's think of this whole planet, the love within us as humanity, all walks of life, all colors. We are one race. We are human race. And we are instruments of Jesus and God and all the masters. We are a master. That's what they have forgotten to tell us. So let us bring in that beautiful power of awakening of light now. And that light. Oh, and 
small, light is growing within us and on this planet. And there may only be peace that can prevail. You are the light worker. May it manifest today and grow within you and in your daily life. So it is. Okay, so with that being a beautiful experience, just looking to our handout and let's do the re-remember. Just a little background on the re-remember um, is how Richard, you know, this inspiration came. We wrote down that prayer. So to the re-remember, I saw the uh, crystal skull, skull max. That's crystal skull. And we're very fortunate to have that crystal skull come around this area. It was the first time actually Robin and I went together. The first time I saw Max and then after that, we were gonna have a little gathering and get together. And I just felt to write a prayer. And this is the prayer that came with Max, the crystal skull. And it's been so powerful because it's like the memory, the cosmic memory came back. And the more you say it is prayer, the more the cosmic memory comes back. We say it every time at the Anchor and Light Meditation and it's been passed out all over. So let's say this together, understand the power that it holds that will trigger our own cosmic memory, especially after what Robin just did with the crystal heart. We remember we are spiritual beings of light, one with the source of all creation. We remember all is one. We remember that we are creators and part of the divine creative plan. We remember we are here as a physical expression. Our guardians and stewards to earth, and we work in collaboration with other spiritual beings of light from various streams of consciousness. We work together, bound by love, to liberate Earth Mother to take her place as the world of peace. We walk the path of love. And now, I'll ask Reverend Nancy to come forward for meditation. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. Namaste, everyone. I am so um, in gratitude of being able to serve tonight and also having all of you here as one in this divine tribe of light workers. Tonight, I'm going to lead you through a um, a meditation of invoking um, the peace and love on the earth. So I ask you all to just sit with your feet flat on the floor, please. And um, can you take a little background music at the heart? Sure. Be okay. It would be lovely. I would love that. Okay. And turn up one of the lights. Yeah. Thank you, Ashley. <clears throat> Oh, you're all shining so bright tonight. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and the Such ones on, uh, on Zoom too. On oh, Facebook. great. Yes. <laughs> okay. Now I want you to just take in a really deep, relaxing breath and bring it to your solar plexus. And as it sits there for just a second in the solar plexus, gather up any obstacles in your way and breathe it out now. We thank you, Father, Mother God, for this great and wonderful privilege to be here together with all these divine souls. We call out the Council of Nine to come to the center of our, of our um, event here tonight. And we call out the Council of Twelve to come around on the edges. We thank you again, Father, Mother God, for this time 
that we let the healing angels, the guides, the loved ones, the teachers, the masters, the holy ones, the great ones, the holy angels, archangels, and spiritual helpers to come forth and our designated healing angels to come forth and give us inspiration, upliftment, guidance, healing, divine protection, divine love, and divine um, blessings. We thank you again, Father, Mother, God, for this great and wonderful privilege to be here together. So be it, so be it, so be it, and so it is. Amen. Now as we come together, see as we invoke the violet flame surrounding each and every one of us. Also invoking the violet flame to surround each and every being upon this earth. And now we see the violet flame surrounding the earth, uniting us all as one. Now we see a pillar of light coming from the great central sun passing through the, the universe, entering the Earth's atmosphere, passing through our crowns, going into our heart chakras, uniting us as one, and passing through all creation on this Earth and all beings on this Earth, uniting us as divine spiritual beings that we are. It is said, energetic and physical first contact with all spiritual beings on earth and off earth that hold the fifth dimensional frequency of love and light is decreed and ordered by us now. Feel the energy flow through you. We also declare divine intervention to be effective upon this earth now. 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 So be it. With divine envisioning, love, envision the loving high dimensional beings from all worlds and all dimensions interacting with each of us and all light workers on this planet in peace and love on this earth now. 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 So be it. We decree and declare that divine source and healing change is now an action on all over this earth and that the divine light is wiping out every particle of darkness on this earth now, now, now. So be it. So be it. We declare and decree all mending of all injustices done to humans on this earth, eliminating all poverty now. We declare that divine wealth and abundance is restored to all on this earth now. Now. Now, so be it. So be it. We invoke the fifth dimensional age of Aquarius frequency of love and light on this earth. Now, now, now. Now just relax for a minute, holding that energy. 
and invoking that for the earth and all beings on the earth. See the darkness being swept off the earth by the divine light pouring through each and every one of us. We are the light workers of this earth. And we invoke for every light worker upon this earth to unite with us as one at this moment now. Holding the divine light, raising the frequency of this earth and invoking the ascension into the new earth. Now we center ourselves, we go to the bottom of each foot and see golden rods forming at the bottom of each foot. It goes down, down, down into the earth, 10 feet. And as it hits 10 feet, it grows roots into the earth, anchoring us, supporting us, grounding us, letting us know that we are whole, we are happy, we are healthy. We are our divine sparks. We are one with God and we are one with all. So be it, and so it is. So it is. Namaste to every one of you. Namaste. <laughs> Thank you, Reverend Nancy. Okay. So you did get a handout that looks like this. We're going to close with this. Powerful, powerful names of God. We're going to, we are high up in frequency. And so we're going to use our voice and our intention to dismantle any negative thought form in any kind of capacity that is circling around the earth. So first of all, what we're going to chant for just as a divine holy trinity, which is the father, the son, the Christ consciousness, also known as the Maitreya consciousness, the Holy Spirit, which is the divine feminine and actually the presence. This is the time and the age of the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKadosh, the divine Shekinah. She is present. And she is here. And so we're going to invoke that. And in this space, most certainly, the Shekinah presence is very strong. And so we're going to say these holy names, even just as, as a sound. We don't know what Zama, Zama, Oza, Rakama, Ozai means, but you know, Jesus said it, so it's good for us. <laughs> we're good. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. It's the sound and the intention, the vibration, because words, remember, even in the Bible, it said in the Genesis, it says, and then there was the word. It creates, sound creates. And if we could see beyond the limitations of our physical bodies here with these little, you know, um, uh, five senses, there's so much more. We're in this spectrum and the light spectrum is this. You would see as your voice and your sound comes out, you would see beautiful geometries and beautiful colors. And in other dimensions, that's what they see. It's just really beautiful. So the intention and the sound is all that matters. So let us start with the Holy Trinity, with yod heh vod heh yod heh shin vod heh Shekinah. Just follow along, it's easy. yod heh vod heh yod heh shin vod heh Yod he bod he yod he shin bod he shakaina. Yod he bod he yod he shin bod he shakaina. Yod he bod he yod he shin bod he shakaina. Yod he bod he yod he shin bod he shakaina. Yod he bod he yod he shin bod he shakaina. Yod he bod he yod he shin bod he shakaina. Yod he bod he yod he shin bod he shakaina. Yod he bod he yod he shin bod he shakaina. Yod he bod he yod he shin bod he shakaina. Yod he bod he yod he shin bod he
that flow in through and around you, the sacred space where you are, your divine, holy, sacred presence as the higher integration of the higher parts of yourselves anchor more deeply even in the physical, mental, and emotional bodies. Become aware of the subtle energies and the not so subtle energies that have been pouring in that has been responding to the call of the children of the earth, the children of the light who have not forgotten. And each and every holy sacred in breath and out breath strengthens that connection. The higher parts of ourselves, our over self body, our higher body, the multidimensionalities of who we truly are, the highest source emanating from the highest of the heavens of the upper worlds, all here now integrating as we have called out to the cosmos, to the divine, to our father, to our mother, to the Ami Shaddai, the family of light, and they have heard and they are present and they are here and they sing these mighty tones with us. We work together now as the family of light with the Ami Shaddai, that all those nefarious thought forms in any timeline, past, present, or future, wherever it may exist, we now bring the power of the Holy Shekinah, the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKadosh. We now bring forth the powerful names of the tribe of light from the aeons of time to be here now, to be here now, to be here now. <laughs> We now call upon Mika Eli Lu. You can see we have read him. Mika Eli Lu, that is there to protect this world. And his power becomes more emboldened when the children of light, when the children of the earth remember their connections to the upper worlds, to the paradise worlds that we are not in this fallen state forever, that we can reach up to the higher frequencies and pull the frequency, not only of ourselves, but the entire planet. And Mika'elilu, his ancient name found in the Elba text, Saint Michael the Archangel, Saint Michael, known as many, many names. His presence is real. And he has been working on our behalf, the children of the earth, the children of the earth, 
So we now say his name, Mikaelilu, because we call upon him now to help us to dismantle these nefarious thoughts that circle the earth. We now bathe it with the light of the divine, the movement of the Shekinah, and the power of Michael. And just repeat. Mika Elilu, 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 Mika Elilu. darkness, dismantling those blockages, those miscreations, those distortions and illusions now being rent away, wiped away, cleansed clear, eliminated, realigned into the higher thought form of the higher worlds. And now finally we will close with Resh Yod Yod, and that is to take away the fear and the hatred and the illusion of separation that's on this earth and has been used for time millennia. So now we're going to use our power as powerful white walkers. We have the tools to do this and we embrace it now. So we will now first read what we're going and our intention with Resh Yod Yod. Let's read it together. 
We acknowledge every person or group of people that stir up feelings of anger, envy, malice, and total disgust. Lift out the heart of all humanity because it is filled with hatred and anger that seem to be out of control. Help humanity walk away from hatred and temper it down so we can see the situation clearly. Help humanity come to an understanding and acceptance that this hatred has no place on earth. With the light of this aim, we cleanse the poisonous negative feelings that exist inside of humanity. With the light of this aim, we cleanse away all anger and rage from humanity, beyond forever. With the light of this aim, we cleanse away all negative feelings and emotions from humanity, beyond forever. With the light of the same, we cleanse away all hatred from humanity. Be gone forever. Fill humanity's heart with your divine light of love. Fill humanity's heart with peace, love, and unity. Rush yo yo, 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 rush yo yo. shall be given in greater measure. Blessed are they who give of the energy of light, for they shall know the increase. Blessed are the children of light upon the earth, for theirs is the reward of the redemption. For the children of light are given the work of lifting the planet out of a state of darkness. Through the increase in their vibratory rate, as it emanates from their being into the ethers. As ye are lifted, you will draw unto the self the one who seeks 
The child of light is thereby the servant of the Most High, and it is so. And together we say, and so it is. 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 Amen. 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 And amen. And amen. Our ceremony is completed. <laughs> I want to thank everybody who joined on Facebook Live. I want to thank everybody who joined on our Zoom call. Uh, if you have further information, you can please contact us. We appreciate all your financial support uh, to keep this going. You know how important it is that we come together as the tribe of light. And so with that, I wanna say again, namaste, thank you so much. And if you are not getting our newsletter, uh, when I step out, let me know, we'll make sure we get your emails. That's also here. If you would like to get our newsletter to know what's going on, we'll be having more events. And of course we said, Dr. Hertak is gonna be here in January and that's a pretty big deal. So with that, I'm going to say, Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for participating. We will see you again.